So here's where we're at at the moment. This is one of the pickets that's just destroyed. This one's a little soft. This one. But then when I come over here, the actual rail. But this rail has gone all soft. So this is the one I'm going to replace when I come along here. This part isn't too bad on the front and back, but I think it's a bit soft on the outside. And here, it's just had it. This end section is a section I did a couple of years ago. Half flap joint is what I'm planning on doing. But I'm going to have to undo that one to get this part out. Because this one needs to be replaced. But I'm going to do it so that I'm putting... Each section will have a rail. And I'll probably do it that I work from that end and come along. So they can basically overlap easier. Now you notice this one. Notice this one's just two butt joints, a couple of screws and a bolt in the middle. Just holding, barely holding each one. So that's why I want to do the overlapping but um, half lap joints here. I'm not sure how many pickets I'm going to need to make or replace. And I can see another soft one another soft one so there's going to be a few i'm probably going to have to make more than the eight that i've got timber for what i'm going to do i'm going to get the measurements from beam to not post to post because they will go from because they'll because of the overlapping half lap they'll basically go from the outside dimension of each one so i can take the measurement from any year i'm going to prep all my pieces the hardest one to prep is going to be the joint at that end where it's meeting a piece that's nice but I'll be able to prep all the others, cut all the joints, paint them all before putting them up that way this stays secure until I, the actual point where I just need to come up here and put the rails on and I'll basically take the pickets off take the bottom rails out, replace them, and then I can put pickets back and replace pickets as I need. Because I'm sure I'm gonna find out which ones are rotten as I'm taking them off. What I'm also thinking of doing is these cup rails need to be refinished like I did downstairs, so I'll end up taking all those off and just refinishing them all as part of the whole process. Hopefully I can get that all done. We've got Apparently four days of nice weather. I'll see how I go downstairs making these pieces. I do have a tape measure upstairs, which I used to give rough measurements before. I'm gonna take this one up and take my measurements from post to post because this will be the one I'll be using down here with the saw. And I'm not sure if the, both tape measures are exactly the same, so it's one tip. <laughs> Selected out the three that I'm gonna use. So I'm going to just give them a quick skip plane to clean this up. Okay, that's all I want to do, get that roughness off it. Because they're going to be painted. And doing it that way, I didn't have to get an extension lead out and worry about taking too much off. Double check the width of these now with the ones upstairs. Now for taking the time to make sure that I didn't make those too thin or narrow, these ones here are actually 130 wide, not 140. I'm going to have to trim them down anyway. I might just run the saw along skip a nice thin edge off both sides.
fill in some of the bigger holes on this. Put the tape off one side because it was very slumping. This is almost cured. This one's here pretty much cured. I can do a bit more in it just to fill these last bits. And I'm just using this stuff. I thought it was, I had the Builders Bog brand, but I did not. This one was a bit cheaper. I've had it for a long time. You can tap it, you can drill it, you can put nails into it, you can paint it, sand it, all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to let that cure up a bit more because it says it's fully cured within half an hour. It's a two part mix. I've kind of just carved back some of the stuff and then I'll let it set to it completely and I'll do a second run over it just to fill it up and that'll be ready. Oh, it's four o'clock. Losing light because the sun disappears like well, it's gone but I've got my, my three boards out there. I've done my second bogging up with the builders, builders bog, builders filler. So that'll take at least half an hour to set up enough to be able to carve and sand longer in cold weather so this might take a little bit longer one of the things that's a bit of a pain is the fact that this is the work shed that's got to come back in here and I move this out of the way and I realized I really should get some bigger wheels for that because the weight that's in it they're only like 50 mil with two inch wheels they're nice and strong but trying to get them up over this little lip here is always hard and then I've got no paving out there anymore so it's just and we've had a lot of rain the wheels just sunk into the dirt there I'll get this rearranged packed up and I can't really pack the saw up completely because I don't want to lose that setting for the um half laps because I've only done it on one of the pieces so far the rest I'm gonna I'm gonna do more of the measurements up there rather than trying to trust all the measurements down here sort of do a, a measure in situ rather than trusting myself <laughs> Tetris. That didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. Take that out so I don't sound weird. So I'm meant to get another two good days. Three. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's supposed to be nice weather. Today's Friday. Doesn't feel like I've got a lot done. I mean, trimming them down, getting the joints done on one piece. And I've got to check that up there. The others are squared off at one end. Filled all the holes. I'd probably be further along if, it, if I decided not to fill the holes, but I know that I'd want to fill them later. My wife would want me to fill them later. And using the builder's filler, um, because that's exterior, was, is the way to go with that sort of stuff. And like it takes time, but it's by far the better decision to make sure you've got this all prepped properly properly I'd love to concrete out the front of this see what I mean by sinking this is where it was sitting while I was doing the work scoop up that stuff 
Where's the ball? And that's where it was. Ah, oh, jeez.